Looks like all the frameworks and applications from this past summer are getting huge updates. We saw this with Open Interpreter introducing a new framework update to now ChatDev having its own larger update. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring ChatDev once again due to a new update that will revolutionize how we actually use communicative agents for software development. For the people who do not know, ChatDev is a framework that allows you to create customized software using natural language ideas through LM powered multi agent collaboration. Now, the primary objective of ChatDev is to offer an easy to use, highly customizable and extendable framework, which is based on large language models, and it serves as an ideal scenario for studying collective intelligence. It's practically stands out as a virtual software company that operates through various intelligent agents that hold different roles, including a CEO, product manager, you have a CTO, and many other job roles. These agents form a multi-agent organizational structure and are united by a mission to revolutionize the digital world through programming. Now, the agents within ChatDev collaborate by participating in specialized functional seminars, including tasks such as designing, coding, testing, as well as documenting. Now, I know this might be getting repetitive, but I really want to emphasize on our private Discord as it has been thriving a lot recently. There has been a lot of great things coming out of this as you can just see from this like image right here on the screen where we basically just had a new partnership where we are giving out paid subscription plans for Dataku. And this is an amazing a effortless and accurate approach for data extraction. Now, this is just an example of something that we do and work with. There's multiple different paid subscriptions that are given out to our Discord members for free. You simply become a member and you get access to various different AI tools across the month. And it's on different ranges of AI tools. It's not necessarily just data execution tools, but it's various different types of categories in the field of AI. Now, we don't just end up giving out free subscriptions to AI tools. We also give out various other different things like collaboration opportunities where people can basically work as a team to build applications. We have various networks, we have news outlets, we have resources, as well as daily AI inputs. So definitely recommend you check out the Patreon link in the description below, as I really wanted to emphasize what you guys are missing out on if you guys are not a part of this. Now, just recently, we got this new update called Experimental Co-Learning Update, and this is for software developing agents. It's a new innovative approach where instructor as well as assistant agents accumulate shortcut oriented experiences, and this is to effectively solve new tasks. You're able to reduce repetitive errors as well as enhancing efficiency. This technique will soon be integrated into chat dev and it's something that we'll take a look at throughout today's video. We're going to take a look at this new capability as well as just basically exploring chat dev once again. So stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to take another look at ChatDev, which is a communicative agent framework for software development. You can easily create various different types of software apps or prototypes using this framework. And many people have seen my videos on this. And I definitely saw that many people loved using this because it was a great way for you to create different ranges of applications. Now today we have this new feature of experimental co-learning which is going to enhance the efficiency going to take out the repetitive errors and it's going to effectively solve no tasks now we all know that you can do various ranges of things with chat dev in this example you can see that you're able to create a flappy bird game within a couple of minutes you simply just give it the prompt and it gives you this game output which is absolutely amazing in my opinion you can do various different things not just games but you can do a lot more and this is something that i'll take a look at as we go further into the video. Now, there is actually a community contribution software list of different ranges of applications that were created using ChatDev. You can see as we go down, there's things like BMI calculators, uh, there's different ranges of games that are created, different like utilizations of tools that were actually generated with chat dev and these are through single prompts which is absolutely amazing to see we saw this many times on this channel where we saw 
useful applications and prototypes being developed with this tool and this framework. And that's why it was able to gain a lot of publicity because of what it was actually able to accomplish. And now we have this new update called Experimental Co-Learning of Software Developing Agents. This is an update that addresses the common limitations in large language models by introducing this new framework that enhances collaborative problem solving amongst um, different types of agents, whether that's autonomous agents or singular agents. Now, when LM-driven agents have shown significant capabilities in various domains, their standalone approach to tasks often lack the integration or the path experiences that are needed to have an effective process to generate various different types of content now in the context of software development there there is like a blend of natural as well as programming language skills that is essential and what this paper is trying to address is that they have basically focused on a new multi-agent learning paradigm that will help the efficiency and the effectiveness of various different types of generations that are done with software developing agents. This is a framework that will enable the instructor as well as the assistant agents to gather shortcut oriented experiences from their historical trajectories. This basically means that the experiences that they were having in the past interactions used for mutual reasoning or whatever it may be, it basically enhances the agent's ability to address new and unseen tasks more effectively. This is something that we'll take a look at as we go further down to the paper, but we can see that it's something that they're trying to address for autonomous agents when they're tackling tackling such diverse tasks independently. This is something that's going to emphasize on the lack of mechanisms to integrate cumulative experience from previous tasks. This is why they introduced this so that you can get more efficiency and more effectiveness when you're generating unseen tasks. Let's take a look at this architecture over here, which is giving us a better idea of this experimental co-learning framework. Now, it is simplified into three categories. You can see that the co-tracking module is something that is going to encourage the interactive rehearsals between the various ranges of agents within it. Now, this will foster more of a joint exploration as well as the creation of procedural trajectories for different training tasks. You can see that there is a prompt over here where develop a Tetris variant where bomb blocks explode and clear nearby blocks when arranged. And you can see that there's two ranges of agents focusing on this and they are basically having this co-tracking module that is going to encourage this interactive re rehearsal between these two agents. Secondly, you have the co-memorizing block, which is strategically extracting the shortcuts from the trajectories with external supervision. Now, this is going to basically, like I would say, ingest these different strategies into paths for the agents and it will collectively gather all the experiences into one whole pool which will be then used for future generation. Lastly, you have the co-reasoning uh, module you can say and this is something that combines the collective reasoning experiences of the pools of different agents. It's going to enhance the interactions in giving instructions as well as responses. Now I truly believe that this integration is going to improve the ability to collaborate with new agents as well as having them focus on unseen tasks more effectively. Now, they actually had a comparative analysis where they had this study that focused on different frameworks like ChatDev. You can see as you go down, they compared GPT Engineer, MetaGPT, as well as ChatDev. And now they also have the co-learning update that is going to be compared with these different methods. Now, they use the NLDD data set for this evaluation, which focuses on metrics like completeness, you have different types of executing tasks, as well as consistency. Now, this is focusing on the experimental co-learning framework, which was implemented in ChatDev, and they were basically able to compare this with the older version of ChatDev, and it was actually able to outperform the baseline across these different metrics. And you can see that it does a great job in comparison to all of these other models of set GPT engineer in the duration of a category. And they basically emphasize that the unique features of their framework in the code tracking as well as the code memorizing and crow reasoning phases were able to contribute to a more improved autonomy as well as a reduction for the need of manual intervention. This is basically making this software more 
independent and having it so that it doesn't need any sort of human intervention to help complete that prototype. This is making software development so much more easier and better. It's making it more intricate to through these new methods and more of a better design to help create various different types of generations. This is something that I truly recommend that you check out. I already made a video on chat that before as to how you can install it. And now you can actually play around with this new update with their quick start uh, guide on their GitHub repo. It's fairly easy. You just got to clone it, set up the Python environments, install the dependencies, and you can just follow through with by the step-by-step -step guide. You also have a user-friendly uh, visualizer, which is a way for you to have a better way to create uh, like different types of apps using their user-friendly interface. This is something that I recommend that you use as it's quite easy to set up once you install ChatDev. But that is basically it for this new update on ChatDev. I hope you got some sort of idea as to what you can do with this new update. It's definitely revolutionizing the way we use autonomous agents. So I truly believe that this will be quite groundbreaking. Now I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow us on the Patreon page if you want to join our private Discord. I truly recommend you do so so you can access many different types of features, which I talked about at the start of the video. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out fellas.